going on guys and gals? So I'm saying bringing you another review this week and this week we're going to take a look at the Segeli 213. Now, I've been a big fan of Segeli ever since I became a vapor. I believe my first regulated mod was a Segeli and that thing was just a monster. I could drop it all day and it would still work and still fire perfectly. So I've been a big fan of Segeli as I've been grow progressing as a vapor. Now, the Segeli 213 guys, let me tell you guys a little bit about it. Now it is a dual 18650 mod, does 213 watts nickel titanium stainless steel, it does three types of stainless steel, 304, 316, and 317, already preset in there so you don't have to really mess around with it. Also has TCR function and TFR if you want to go in there and fine tune it and make it the way you want. Now, another cool feature about this mod is it has a boost feature. So basically, I vape at 70 watts, but sometimes that initial fire up and ramp up time is a little slow for me. So I don't get the desire to hit that I want until later on. So basically, you can turn, keep it set to 70 watts. You can have your boost set up to 75 watts for a certain amount of seconds, and it'll hit at 75 watts at the initial beginning and then it will progress back down to 70 watts your desired vape or whatever however you guys want to do it now overall this mod is just absolutely great but it's not without its cons so without further ado i say we get down to the nitty and the gritty of the segeli 213 guys and we'll come back to facetime vape on it and talk about it let's do this packaging that the Segeli 213 comes in vape it love it now pretty simple 18 plus pretty nice little packaging now as you guys can see on the back big old con right there is the resistance range is a 0.1 ohm that is in temp mode and normal wattage mode you guys can pause the video if you guys want to check this out so that is definitely a con in my opinion so we will get down to that later on now when you open it up you do get a warranty card which is a 90 day warranty card then you have a nice detailed user manual uh, it just keeps going don't it then you have this little card right here which is your Segeli security code and then you have your USB charging cable or firmware upgradable cable we do not know yet so let's go ahead and push that to the side get to the place of resistance so as you guys can see carbon fiber real carbon fiber from what i can tell can't really tell you confirm you on this metal material and what it is but it's gun metal finish also comes in a gold finish nice clicky buttons Brass 510, it is a stainless steel 510 adapter, but it is a brass spring loaded 510. Have not had any problems with anything connecting to this, just been absolutely great. So, batteries in order to open it, all you got to do is slide it open and bam. So, I do have some rewrapped batteries in here. Safety first, guys, safety first. So basically, right there, as you guys can see, is marked positive, negative. So basically, you want your positive pointing up, and your negative pointing up. So it's going to sit just like that. Negative touching this, positive touching that. Push it down, clamp it in, and there you go. Have not had any problems with it coming out. No button rattle. Just been absolutely great. Now mine might have a little button rattle now because I have dropped it, but it did not have it previously before. So overall, it's been great. There's your little USB charging cable. It is a two amp charge cable, but I do not recommend charging it through the USB cable. That is just my personal preference just because it's ran in series. So, but use at your own yeah you know use at your own thingamajig so let us get down to the menu screen so as you guys can see here let me zoom you guys in focus yeah pretty detailed screen here you do have 75 watts your wattage here you have your ohms your volts 
your amps and your battery voltage also have your battery percentage along with a battery bar which is really really cool pretty detailed screen now what I'm gonna tell you guys here is that in order to lock it you have to click it five times let me go ahead and put on an atomizer here that way we don't have to see check atomizer a hundred times all right so come on now focus five clicks will get you to lock it as you guys can see it's locked tells you your battery percentage five clicks to unlock it also press down and fire together uh, uh. hey now there you go and your button is locked so to unlock it just do it again and there you go so fire three times to get into the menu system you have your power stainless steel titanium nickel TCR and TFR so basically you go into stainless steel you have 304 316 and 317 already preset for you choose Fahrenheit or Celsius and that is about it it should go up to 570 degrees Fahrenheit all the way down to 200 degrees Fahrenheit so let's see here one two three get you back in here you have five presets for your TCR functions I do not really mess with these so yeah but as you guys can see it does say TCR memory 5 go back into power mode now in order to lock your resistance I don't know why I went into power mode for that So in order to lock your resistance, you press the up and the down button together. And it will ask you if you want to lock it or read it. You can go ahead and lock it. And presto. So. Wish you'd stay focused. That would be real I'd really appreciate that. Now, press up and fire. To adjust your preheat now your preheat is basically like I said 75 watts say I wanted to hit at 80 watts 80 watts for how many seconds do I want it for the whole round well not the whole time but say for one second of the vape I want it for 80 watts so basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna vape at 80 watts drop me back down to 75 watts which is a really really cool feature really have been enjoying that also been fiddling around with it a little bit and trying to find my perfect vape here so cuz I bounce from 70 watts to 75 watts so I've really been trying to balance it out messing around with it but it's a very detailed great screen nice buttons nice and clicky love the carbon fiber and the gunmetal finish here just love the way the button placement is all right here's the size comparison guys this is the noisy cricket it is an unregulated series mod which is a hybrid but you get a pretty good idea here size comparison not too much not too big of much of a difference also have it beside the cuboid 150 watt A little bit smaller than that so it's actually a really good perfect little form factor for you guys all right go back to FaceTime vape on it talk about it guys all right guys that was the nitty and the gritty of the Segeli 213 now as I showed you guys in the close-up the USB port is a 2 amp charge port I do not know if it's firmware upgradable now it does say on a couple different sites that it is but it does not say it on Segeli so I do not know the exact meaning I don't know if it's firmware upgradable or not so don't quote me on it but overall guys I mean let me tell you my pros and my cons that's the, that's the way to do it now the price range of this is about a hundred hundred and ten dollars 
I got mine. I purchased mine from Element Vape, so I will be putting a link in their description. You can buy batteries with it, all that good stuff. Now, the cons with this device is it can only fire to a 0.1 in temp mode. So, or standard Canthal mode, 0.1 guys. So that is a big con. Hopefully it is a firmware upgrade and hopefully they do come out with a firmware upgrade to kind of lower that number. But that is my big con with this device is you can only fire down to a 0.1 in temp mode. Overall though, it's just a great mod. It's just sturdy, it's great. It's, it doesn't have any button rattle. Now, mine might have a little button rattle now because last night I did drop mine at work. So, yeah. But I think the drip tip took most of the beating on that one. So, didn't get no scratches on it. Did drop it. I love the carbon fiber. Love the gunmetal finish. It also comes in a gold finish. Gold and carbon fiber. But I like the gunmetal and carbon fiber myself. As me personally, I'm just not big on gold. I just don't know why. But anyways, guys, really like that. You can put your 24 millimeter or 25 millimeter devices and they still sit on there just perfectly. They don't have no overhang. Uh, it's just been getting giving me a great vape. I've been getting a great vape off of this Segeli 213. I just really have been enjoying it. I love the boost feature. I love the all the presets and all that of the temp modes. Now... I love the 510. I definitely love the 510 just because it makes it a little less prone to getting scratched because the ones that don't put the 510 on it, you know, the big old 510 kind of tends to scratch the paint up and when I get scratched on the paint, I kind of get mad. I don't know why. I mean, I know it's just a vape, but at, at the same point, it's kind of like, but I want, it, I want it to look good even if an RDA is still on there or not. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling on. So, I basically... I really enjoy this mod. I really love the size of it. I mean, it's just so small. As you guys showed, as I showed you in the close-ups, the comparisons, it's really small for a dual 18650 mod, and that's what I really, really like about it. It's really comfortable in the hand. Battery life has actually been really, really great, so I definitely highly recommend it. It is sub -ohm saint approved, you guys. Now, that's all I can really say about it, guys. I will leave a link in the description, as I always do where you can get one and thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like comment and i will get back to you as always i will try to comment back as fast as possible and as soon as possible so if you have any questions for me or you just want to talk just go ahead leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time for the nitty and the gritty